At TFP, the relationship between free chlorine FC, and cyanuric acid CYA, is key to keep your water algae-free. But watch out! The more stabilizer you have, the more chlorine you need. They must be balanced and monitored with your TF100 or Taylor K 2006C test kit. TFP learned early on after studying thousands of pools under various conditions that as the stabilizer goes up, so too must the chlorine level to prevent algae. Many pool stores fail to recognize that free chlorine CYA relationship, which is why TFP recommendations vary. Never fear, you can keep algae out of your water by balancing the free chlorine to your current CYA and have a trouble-free pool. At each level of CYA, a corresponding level of chlorine is needed. If your CYA level gets too high, perhaps from using stabilized products like tablets or shock, your CYA could quickly exceed 90. If that happens, we recommend a partial drain and refill with fresh water to lower the CYA. How much chlorine and stabilizer do I need? It depends on your local area, intensity of sunlight, and condition of the water. To help, TFP has created a chlorine CYA chart. There are two charts to choose from, one for salt pools and one for non-salt pools. All users should find your current CYA, then ensure your chlorine level is always in the target range. Never let your chlorine drop below the minimum amount listed, or you run the risk of developing algae. If you have a salt pool, you may notice that the TFP recommended CYA level starts at 70, but the free chlorine level is lower than a non-salt pool. Why you ask? Salt water generators produce chlorine when the pump is running. This high chlorine level within the cell helps pools remain algae-free at lower free chlorine levels compared to non-salt pools. Also, the elevated CYA protects the free chlorine, which allows owners to minimize pump run times which can prolong the salt generator's service life. For more information, please visit us at www.troublefreepool.com.